Hello and a very warm welcome to you all. Thank you for taking time from your busy schedules. It's great to see people joining from different time zones and I'm very excited to talk about the GuideWire data platform and all the interesting problems my team is working on. On that note, let's get started. Here's the agenda I plan to cover today. I will start with an overview of GuideWire, followed by a deep dive on the data platform architecture, the technical roadmap, to give you all an idea about the interesting problems we plan to solve for the next year. I will also cover our engineering culture and the exciting career opportunities in my team. At the end of the presentation, I'll walk you through the hiring process planned for this event. So about GuideWire. For those who do not know about GuideWire, GuideWire is the leader in insure tech space. GuideWire provides number of SaaS applications, platforms, and AI ML solutions to power the largest insurance companies in the world. That's 400 plus customers across 30 plus countries. And GuideWire is a great company to work for. It's not just me saying that. Here's the proofs. I'm sure the engineers on the call will appreciate the first award listed here. We were voted as the best engineering team of 2021. Very proud of our great engineering team here. Besides that, we also won other exciting awards, best product and design, best HR, great global culture, and yes, GuideWire is truly an amazing company to work for. Moving on, Let's talk about the GuideWare data platform. So what's GuideWare data platform? It's, it's an enterprise grade and internet scale cloud native platform designed to ingest petabytes of data from GuideWare and third party sources in near real time to provide rich set of AI ML solutions to our customers. So in short, it's a cloud-based platform for high-end analytics. And let me show you a 10,000 foot view of the platform and the analytics AI ML solutions. On the bottom left side, you can see data from various sources are ingested into the data platform. The platform provides multiple analytics engines and the data lake to curate, transform, and store the data. And the top box shows all the wide range of AI ML SaaS solutions built using the APIs and the engines provided by the platform. So that's the uh, 10,000 foot view. And let's zoom in and see what's inside the platform. So it's a multi-layered infra platform and SaaS applications. So what you see on the left side is the data platform. And the platform has three layers. So look at the, the bottom uh, box. Uh, you would see uh, the infra and control plane. That's the first layer uh, to deploy and operate the data platform. So that's the base infra. And second, the big data platform itself. That's the middle box. Uh, the, the big data platform with ingestion capabilities, multiple analytics engine to process billions of transactions, multi-tenant data lake, and the tools to create business-ready data sets and AI ML models. And third layer, the top box, that's a very important one. So that's, that's the one that we provide all the security and governance, the data integrity and audit frameworks, monitoring, APIs, and all of that important things. And on the right side, you can see all the cool analytics, AI ML SaaS solutions, built using the APIs and the tools provided by the platform. Let's, let's dive it deep. Let's dive, dive deeper into the data platform architecture. So if you look at the diagram, on the left side is the data ingestion layer, which is the entry point to the data platform. It, it primarily contains uh, data connectors, 
registration service, catalog, and the Kafka clusters. And we support different type of data sources, but let, let's focus on the common uh, database streaming case. So for that use case, what we use is we use a Debesium uh, and Kafka Connect to capture every single change, every single transaction from uh, our SaaS databases and stream to Kafka. Once the data is available in Kafka, we have multiple analytics engines processing that data stream. So that's the, uh, the next big box uh, in the diagram. We have a generic engine interface to abstract the underlying engines and their implementation. And those different engines come into action based on the type of data and curation needs. It can be uh, the EMR based engines or relational engine or something like a Flink. And the platform provides various curation prep train APIs and tools to create models for predictive analytics. And, and the data processed by the, the analytics engine is stored in the data lake or data warehouse with the right set of metadata and lineage uh, information. And that data and the metadata can be accessed uh, using the APIs, uh, Athena, uh, Presto, or, or through our BI layer. Or, or you can bring in your own BI and connect to the platform as well. So that's the, that's the architecture of the, of the data platform. And, and let's look at uh, the, the tech stack uh, that's used to build this platform. This is, my, this is my favorite slide. So as you can see, we are using the cutting edge. In fact, a bleeding edge open source, big data and cloud distributed systems on AWS. Uh, you name it, uh, like Kubernetes, Kafka, Spark, EMR, Debesium, and all that big data distributed systems uh, that you're familiar with, and many more. So, so now that we covered uh, the tech stack, let's check what's under the hood uh, of the platform. So there are a number of distributed platform components and microservices like the uh, near real-time uh, ingestion platform, multiple analytics engines, catalog, Kafka clusters, data lake, data warehouse, security and governance framework, APIs, the control plane and, and the various automation, and also the customer facing SaaS applications such as cloud data access, explore, data studio. That's a pretty big list. And now that we covered what's under the hood of the platform, let, let me walk you through where we are today and also about all the interesting problems we plan to solve. So if you look at this uh, progress, we launched the V1 version of the platform and the associated services uh, with our first release. And we have been continuously iterating since then. We enhanced our security and governance framework, released the catalog and data warehousing capabilities in addition to the data lake. And we also went global with uh, our international region rollouts and introduced multiple analytics curation engines for data processing and released data studio. And there's a lot in the list. So, but it, it shows that the team have been continuously iterating um, and, and making great progress. And that is a good segue to talk about uh, uh, the current scale and, and where we are today. So take a look at this and uh, remember, we opened the platform to only just 5% of our customer base, just 5%. So as of today, with that 5%, the data platform process around 30 billion data points and hundreds of terabytes of data in our lake. And that's across 250 plus data pipelines and environments. And again, uh, we just open only to 5% of our customers. And we need massive scaling 
of the infra and platform uh, to onboard and open to the remaining 90, 95% of our customers. So uh, as you can see in the red, uh, the 30 billion records will go to a massive 600 plus billion records and 250 plus pipeline will grow to 5,000 plus data pipeline and estimated to be tens of petabytes of data uh, in the platform. And this requires some serious scaling and some very interesting uh, problems to solve. And that takes us uh, to the technical roadmap. And let me show you those interesting, but uh, uh, very challenging problems uh, ahead of us. So the most exciting work for engineers uh, on the call to, is to see the platform ready to process hundreds of billions of records with those tens of petabytes of data, right? And that requires some major scaling of the, the platform. And once we do that, that will enable wide range of AI, ML, SaaS applications, and also the marketplace or PaaS solutions as well. And that's that may be a good segue to talk about uh, what excites our engineers. So the number one in the list, uh, maybe the number one in the list for engineers, maybe uh, the opportunity to design and build such a large scale distributed big data platform and the AI ML SaaS, SaaS applications. And remember, this is not an internal platform. This is a customer facing multi-tenant SaaS platform. And I'm sure you would love our tech stack as I shown before. And very importantly, uh, we have a great engineering culture, benefits, continuous learning and innovation that make it very interesting for our engineers. And let me walk you through uh, our working model and our vision. So our vision is, is very simple and straightforward. So this is to accelerate. Our vision is to accelerate innovation by unlocking the value of data. And we achieve that with highest level of collaborative working with empathy, and we do ruthless prioritization and follow the continuous improvement, deployment, and continuous innovation for you to have fun, uh, learn, and grow. And that takes to the, the final slide for today. That is to talk about the hiring process. So we are looking for senior level engineers. Uh, here is a typical skill set. Uh, and again, you do not need all of the skill set skill sets listed here. Um, and the event is primarily focused for North America candidates. However, we will have similar events for our Bangalore Center and other global locations. So do apply, even if you are from other locations, and we would love to talk to you. And, and this is a fast track hiring event with just two rounds of coding and system design interviews. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this event as much as I did. Thank you so much for your time and wishing you all the very best. <laughs>